So you do it. Even if you were a mess, and then you're coming up, you know, like, you just need to make a grand entrance. Yep. Woo! I'm just going to be dramatic about this. You know, I think we should just clap for him all the way up to the stage. because if we know something, life tends to show up when we don't want it to. Mm -hmm. It shows up whether we want it to or we're prepared or not. Life happens. It happens to us. Uh, so with me, uh, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, if you know my, you may know part of my story, but I'm going to share it with you tonight and like you never heard it, okay? <laughs> um, so with my story, a ring that I had to put down. When I got married, I got married to my wife. I love my wife. Uh, in 2020, my wife passed away. Uh, she died from a rare muscle disease. Um, so after my wife passed away, it was tough for me to let go of that ring because all my life I wanted to be a husband. I was preparing to be a husband. I really wanted to be a husband. I loved her. That was my best friend. So that was tough to put down. Well, I decided, hey, you know what I'll do? I'll give love one more shot. Hey, people die. That happens. You have to move forward. You move on. All the different things that we hear about grief and how you keep moving and you just find somebody else and you just move on down the Merrily Road. And so I decided that was going to be my story because, again, I didn't want to put on a ring. And so I decided within a year I got married again. Well, I got married. I had a storybook with it, and I did everything I was supposed to do, the nice engagement, everything that you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, get out on one knee, everything you could possibly think of to do it. it had a nice wedding at a very beautiful venue, had the nicest wedding, Fire show at the end of it. I mean, Cinderella, everything catered to the T, down to the way you would think it would be. Well, life happened again. Life showed up and something happened again. I went through a, a heartbreaking, devastating divorce. I went through it after being widowed. Now here comes the divorce. Have anybody ever been in a place like before you can catch your breath, something else happened, and it feels like something knocks you down? And you're trying to figure this thing out called life. And so after this divorce, after going through death and going through a divorce that I did not want in a short time, in a very short amount of time, I was left and crumbled. I was left crumbled. I was broken. I was destroyed. And even old wounds have been reopened up because all I ever wanted to be was I wanted to be a husband. I wanted to love my wife. I wanted to have, like, the sitcoms. I wanted to have 30 minutes and the music come on and everything get fixed. You know how I'm mm -hmm. the TV show. So I, I had that ambition and dream to be married. And so after my divorce, I went and I suffered through a major depression of trying to figure out what I was going to do because my world had not only crashed once, but it had crashed twice. But I remember sitting there in April of 2023 and decided I was going to get healthy. I was going to do something that I was going to be courageous. That even though my story may have not ended either one of them the way that I wanted to, that I was going to be resilient, that I would fight back, that I had made some mistakes. But I had made in my mind now that I would give myself a thousand second chances to keep trying to do it over and over again until I figure this thing out. And so then I started to find out what was I passionate about? What was I passionate about? I had always been passionate about children. I had always been passionate about giving back to my community. And so find the ring that I took on was the ring of finding me after all of the losses, after suffering a stroke in 22, going blind in my left eye, I lost my sight but never my vision. So after all these different things happened, I, here I am, put tons of medical bills for my first wife, death, second wife, 
tons of bills from a divorce and trying to figure it out. And I had this brilliant idea. They brilliant idea one day while I was praying, and I heard God say, get busy in your community. And I'm like, how am I going to get busy in my community? I don't have a single dollar to start with. I'm at the bottom of everything that could go wrong, half went wrong, worth and law. And I decided to start, uh, start working in my community, doing things. And when I looked around, more people were starting to give and help me get the things that I was supposed to be accomplishing done. They helped me get them done. People started donating. People started buying blankets. People started buying different things. Everything that I was touching, it was like a minus touch. So even in the midst of all of my losses, all of my questions, having to lay down the rings that I didn't want to lay down, I was able to find a version of me that emerged from all of the rubbers, all of the things that happened to me. What am I saying to you tonight? What? How does my story relate to you? My story simply relates to you by simply saying, if you don't give up, it will get better. I don't know where you may be. I don't know what's going on in your life. But if you keep pressing and you keep going, you will find a ring that you are supposed to grab. I volunteer weekly at the school with reading in my community. And volunteering reading, that was an opening. And I was telling them what they needed for the opening for the Board of Education. I was giving them all the criteria on the person they should look for. And I looked around the room, and when they were looking around, and we were trying to find who was going to pass the baton to I was the only person standing that needed to take the baton. And so on May 21st, I'll be uh, sworn in, or not May 21st, I will. After May 21st election, I'm running unimpeded, so I'll be able to serve my community and my board of education. So everything that I've wanted to do for my dream, my ambition, they still came true, even after going through everything. So whatever ring you grab, take the time. It won't always be easy, it won't be painless, but you'll make it. Thank you.